after World War II, from 1941 to 1948, in a span of eight years, 259 terrorist attacks were conducted by Jewish terrorists. By many organizations, Ignun, Stern Gang, Haganah, and we know of the famous bombing of King David Hotel, which took place on the 22nd of July, 1946. They were conducted by Ignun under the leadership of Menekin Begin, in which 91 innocent people were killed, out of which 28 were British, 41 were Arabs, 17 Jews, and five others. The Ignun group, they dressed up as Arabs to show as though Muslims did the bombing. The King David Hotel itself. It was in the wing on the right of the picture that the terrorists placed their explosives. And the person responsible was Menekin Begin. And it was the biggest terrorist attack against the history of British mandate in which 91 people were killed. And at that time, Menekin Begin, he was called as terrorist number one by the British government. Later on, after a few years, he becomes the Prime Minister of Israel. And later on, after a few years, he gets the Nobel Prize for Peace. Imagine, a person who has killed, a person who has killed hundreds and thousands of innocent human beings, becomes the Prime Minister of Israel and later on gets the Nobel Prize for Peace. And most of the groups that were fighting, like Stern Gang, Ignun, Haganah, all of these Jewish groups and the leaders, like Yatisak Sribin, Menekin Begin, Ariel Sharon, later on became Prime Ministers and high holding ranks in the state of Israel. And all of them, they were fighting for a Jewish state. If you see the world map, before 1945, Israel did not exist. Israel didn't exist. These Jewish groups, they were called as terrorists by the Britishers. They fought for a Jewish state. Later on, with power, they grabbed the land and they kicked the Palestinians out. And now these same people are calling the same Palestinians who are fighting for a more just cause, for getting the land back. And they are labeled today as terrorists by the Israelis. Imagine Hitler insulated 6 million Jews. He kicks the Jewish community out. Why should they come to Palestine? The Palestinians, they welcome the cousins with open hands. If they should take a land, they should go back to Germany. They should go back to Europe. Imagine the Palestinians welcome the cousins. Imagine, suppose a visitor comes to your house. Being a stranger, you welcome him in your house. After a few days, he kicks you out of the house. And when you cry at the doorstep, I want my house back, people call you a terrorist. <laughs> this is exactly what has happened today. The Palestinians, they are called as terrorists. For what? They only want the land back. So I feel that people like Donald Trump, mm -hmm. they prove the Quran right. Allah says in Surah Furqan, chapter number 25, that there will be an enemy from Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And since Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, going, his message is going to be till eternity, they are bound to be critics and enemies of, of Islam and, and of Prophet Muhammad. Mm -hmm. So these people are proving the Quran right. Because in spite of all these things, Islam is spreading. Allah says in the Quran, in Surah Imran, chapter 3, verse 54, Allah says, Makaru makar Allah, wallahu khairul makarim. They plan and plotted Allah to plan. Allah is the best of planners. If you see after 9-11, the media war on Islam and throughout the world, normally people should think that now Islam should perish, now, Billah. Yeah. If they cannot. But we find that more people want to know what kind of religion is this. And we find that in USA alone, in a span of of about nine months after 9-11, 34,000 Americans accepted Islam. In Europe alone, in a span of 10 months after 9-11, more than 20,000 Europeans accepted Islam. So more they are trying to attack Islam, more Islam is spreading. I believe that such type of people, in the long run, it is benefit for Islam. People want to know what is this religion. And whenever people attack Islam, and you find that in the long run, it benefits Islam.